Okay, also. Hi. Hi, good day. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and I'm with Amy and Ian and Kimmy. Shannon is doing camera work and today we are seated here to minister to the 13 people whose names are on the list. Uh, and so we're actually doing three groups. So we this is the third group. And so I asked Ian to start with the first person. So Ian, go for it. Okay, the first person is Joel. Joel, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see how you are on the soccer field and you tighten your talks nice and uh, carefully and you run on the field and you score a couple of goals. And I really see how you enjoy it. But now the Lord says, I'm going to shift you that you don't only score the goals, but also that you train the people that scores the goals. So your focus are going to shift a lot more on the people that you need to get to score goals. So yes, it's nice when you score a goal, but... Um, it, I see all of the trophies in your cupboard and there's a lot of them. So it is not for you as special as for the new people. And I just see how you're going to get a lot of joy when you help other people scoring goals. So I just see goals and young people, how you're going to help them to achieve their goals. Be blessed. Um, Mr. Joel, the Lord shows me, even in all of the places that He has asked you to, the Lord shows me how you have, like, in the Spirit, lots of lots of hands, how you're working here and you're working there. The Lord says, even though I have asked you to be here and here and here, the place that I want you to go to even more so is come to me. The Lord shows me how He wants you to even more so rely on the Holy Spirit. The Lord shows me how you go into your room or your office, and you just try and, and, and no, you don't try, but you go and you listen to the Holy Spirit and the Lord shows me how he's going to give you a very, very direct word. Not so much about, a, this is not really a word for others. This is a, a word for you that he wants you to receive. The Lord shows me how you'll be so, so much more um I don't want to say useful, but the Lord shows me how you'll be so much more when you first come to, to the Holy Spirit, when you first come to Jesus, and make sure that your cup is full before you help others. Be blessed. All right, All right Joel, so here comes another word. You're going to have to pay a little bit of attention here. So I saw a big waterfall. Looks quite scary, loud. And you're a duck. So you swimming towards this waterfall, you're swimming through the waterfall. So that means the waterfall's very hard on you. But when you swam through, you saw a big cave behind the waterfall where lots of ducks can be safe and there's uh, food and water and little places of shelter. Then you swim again through the waterfall back and you swim and there is the whole duck colony of little ducklings and medium-sized ducks and you tell all of them, follow me, I know where we can have a lot of food and shelter and we can have safety, uh, but we can have to go through that water. And now all the ducks is mad at you because they don't want to go through the water and it doesn't look comfortable for them to go through the water and you are strong, you don't get offended at those ducks. And you say, no guys, we're going to make it. And then all the small ducks follow you and then some of the bigger ducks follow and then they all get through and they discover this amazing place where there's resources, there's abundance, there's shelter, safety, and they can uh, prosper there on the other side uh, of that waterfall, but they had to face that, that water falling onto them. And so I just felt the Lord says to you, I'm giving you wisdom, I'm giving you direction, and I'm also giving you the ability not to get offended when you see the plan, but others don't see the plan. And so the Lord says, uh, do not fear, and even that water that falls like a waterfall on you is not going to hurt you, and so you have to go through it so that you can demonstrate to the others that they can also go through it. Uh, God bless you, Joel. Okay, I actually didn't want to minister to you. I just wanted to say thank you for being here. So, uh, next word is for Candice. Candice, uh, two things. The first one, I see how the Lord puts healing oil on you and He heals your physical body so that you can be strong. The second one, I see how you and um, the family runs, but your mom gets behind uh, um, your mom, Wendy. And then I see how your dad, Wayne, and yourself take her right in her left hand and you run with her until she runs over the line. And now she she didn't fall behind, but she got where she needed to go. And so I just felt that your mom leads a lot of um, support 
and the Lord is calling you and your dad to give her the support that she needs. Uh, uh, I really feel you are a team player. And so every time when you see someone is kind of uh, falling behind or uh, not functioning nicely in a team, you kind of like that coach, that mother hen, that's just bring them all back together again. God bless you, Candice. Candice, the picture God showed me for you was a crown and it said love and courage and I just saw how God was clothing you in purple and putting pearls in your hair and I just feel the Lord says um, you are my daughter and I've called you for royalty and then I just see all the promises that God has spoken over your life and he was writing it in gold ink and it was like he 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 put it in like a cape that he that he dressed you that he gave you and I just feel the Lord says I've given you these promises and I and I just feel how the Lord Lord says how you're going to walk in them and then um, Candace I, I really feel how the Lord says that there's so much breakthrough and life especially in the words that you speak because I just feel the Lord says when I clothe you with my light and glory the words that you speak is going to bring so much breakthrough in life um, not not only to the people around you but also um, but also like the, the kids at the school and I, I just feel how the Lord says that's going to bring a lot of breakthrough um, love you have an awesome day I'm oh, nice Thank you, Candice, for being here today. Please leave us a comment. We love to hear from you. The next word is for Emery. Emery, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of Moses' staff uh, where the Lord gives you a staff and he says that is going to help you to lead, but it's also going to point the way where you need to go. It's going to bring miracles where you just say, Lord, what do I need to do? And then when you stick out that staff, there will be miracles flowing. Uh, but I see also you're going to go through challenges and those challenges are going to make you strong. And I see how you use that staff to uh, rest your shoulders or your arms on over the, the staff as well, where the Lord says, just pray and the wisdom will become like the staff so that you can uh, just know what to do. Be blessed. Okay, Miss Emery, the Lord shows me how you have planted these flowers and how you are giving these flowers as gifts to people. And, and they put them um, in their houses and the Lord shows me how the wind blows and the seeds from those flowers fall into their garden and then they start to produce. So the Lord shows me, the Lord says that he is giving you, he is giving you something to sow into the next generation that they can plant it, that that can produce good fruit, good flowers and that and so on and so forth. The Lord says that, that he is not done with you. He still wants you to, to, to continue to give and in, in every season, whether you are happy or joyful or sorrowful, He wants you to give and He will use you and He will flow through you. Be blessed. Hey, Emery, um, uh, the Lord shows me a harvest in Johannesburg. And I know you guys have a plan to go to Cape Town, but I just see a harvest. I see you getting the harvest, but the harvest was taken there in Johannesburg. So I feel you're going to plant something, do something, and get a result there. And so just trust God. He's going to give you a proper strategy, but I feel you're going to be fruitful and productive. All right. Um, God bless you, Emery. Uh, uh, we love and appreciate you. Uh, so uh, I want to minister to Walter. So uh, Walter, the Lord shows me um, a pipeline of supply, and it's always continuous. It never stops. And then um, the pipeline maybe twists or make a turn, um, and then but you follow the, the twist. And so if I can explain it to you in terms of your business and your work situation, uh, your business gets bought over by another place and you get to get a promotion. Your business knows someone that promotes you to go and do something else at another place, but it's still the same business. That business is friends and works with another business. So you move from the one business to another business. Uh, but it's still the same people. They're still friends and they recommend it to you. And that's why you're in the new place now. And then you continue there and you get promoted there again. But they know someone else that need you. And so they move you from here to the next one. But they're still friends. And so you move from the one place to the other place and get promoted all the way along. But it's the same pipeline. So I feel... You're not going to go to your business and resign and stop and then start at a completely new business. I feel it's all going to be interconnected. One person knows the other one. He recommends you. That person invites you. And it's interconnected. It's not going to be disconnected. That's just the picture that the Lord 
shows me. So when you look for where is my next promotion or where is the growth point or where do I need to go, I feel it's going to be connected. God bless you, Walter. Amen, Walter. God loves you so much. The picture God showed me for you was a waterfall, and I just feel how the Lord says there is an overflow of my wisdom, creativity, and also uh, just, um, I, I just feel the Lord is just really giving you courage, and He's strengthening you, just like He strengthened Samson. And then I feel, Walter, that the Lord says, uh, my son, I'm giving you vision. I am giving you um, the strategy that you need. And then also just, um, I, I just feel how the Father is just giving you you like this fatherly hug because there's there's just an anointing of the father's love over your life god loves you walter god bless you thank you walter for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for maxine maxine the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i just saw a picture of uh, how the lord comes and he moves away the clouds uh, in order to symbolize how you can clearly hear the voice of the lord and i see how it's going to give you a lot of wisdom but it's also going to give you a word for yourself, for your family, and just how to build up people. I see a, a chair with a broken leg and how the Lord gives you wisdom just to mend that chair. And that's a picture of how you're going to help broken families, broken people, just to get back on track and have a relationship with the Lord. Because you will know what is the, the will of the Lord for that person and you're going to have the ability to share that with them so that they can get their breakthrough. Be blessed. Amen, Miss Maxine. The Lord shows me how how He says that the, uh, this idea that I... I have given you this idea. I have given you this goal. The Lord says that that is from Him, so do not fear. The Lord also says that He wants you, especially you and your husband, in unity, but also you. He says that I want you to be a gateway in your home for His Holy Spirit to move. He doesn't want, the Lord shows me how He's going to help you with your mood, that you will always be joyful and that you will have peace in Him. And when you start your day with Jesus, with, with your time with Him, the Lord shows me how that is a gateway that is open above your house for His Holy Spirit to move and for the blessings to flow. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Maxine, uh, the Lord loves you very, very much. Uh, I want to encourage you to remain in the river of God. The river of God is a place where you're in the love of God, in the glory of God, in His presence, uh, and you're being transformed and changed as you are spending that time in Him. And so I just felt uh, that the Lord says, jump in the river of the Father. He loves you very, very much. Uh, please write us a comment. Uh, so uh, Lisa Ford. Uh, Lisa, the Lord shows me how you walk into a new building that you haven't been in before. And when you walk in there, there's a place for you. Uh, there's favor upon your life. People greet you. They love you. Uh, and you have the skills and the gifting that uh, they need. And you become part of that family. And so I just see new door opening full of favor. God bless you. Amen. Um, Lisa, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was um, the, these bangles. You know how um, Wonder Woman had these bangles and I just feel how the Lord says that I am giving you um, protection and I'm just strengthening you and decorating you with my love. And when people see you, they're going to feel my love and my glory. And then I just feel, I don't know if you're a painter or an artist, but I just see how you are creating things. And the Lord says that I've called you to bring, bring heaven from to earth. And I just feel how the Lord is just giving you the creativity that you need and when you come and you have a lot of questions for God and, and how he just gives you those answers through when you're worshiping when you're creating something for him God loves you God bless you Lisa thank you Lisa for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for John John the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a frisbee and how the Lord gives you this frisbee and you throw it uh, it's like an investment that but when you do it right, it'll come back to you. And I just see how the Lord gives you wisdom, how to um, use this Frisbee or the investment that he's giving you so that you can um, invest, but also know that you're definitely going to get your return on your investment. And how the Lord says, always pray. Pray and make sure, because I see a lot of decisions before you, but the Lord says not all of them are the right decision. But when you pray and you ask that I need, uh, that I lead you, then you will definitely know what is the right decision. Be blessed. 
Emma and John, the Lord shows me how he has given you a hammer and, and he has given you an idea. And the Lord says, now I want you to build, I want you to build this idea and I want you to build it on me. That let, let Jesus be the foundation of, of this plan because it was him, it was the Holy Spirit that planted that idea. And the Lord shows me how when you build it on the Holy Spirit, on the word of God, how that will be so, so fruitful, how that will, there will be so much blessing that will come to others through this when you obey the Holy Spirit and you build on that foundation. Be blessed. Hey, oh, hey. John, uh, God bless you. Uh, I, uh, I just got the finances. Finances. That's what the Lord is going to help you with, with finances. Actually, it looked like a well with a hand pump. And then it had a diesel engine on it. And first with the hand pump, it was pumping a little bit of water, but you were letting out work. And then you had the diesel engine and now it's pumping a lot of water. And I just feel that's a picture of your finances. All right, God bless you, John. Um, okay, so Kayla, um, what the Lord shows me is a warrior on a horse with a sword. And what the Lord said to me, you're going to continue with the horses and you're going to preach the word of God. Now, Kayla, I don't know. I haven't listened to you how you preach, but I just feel that the Lord says he's going to show you and he's going to help you and you're going to grow and you're going to practice to get 10 times as good as you are with preaching. Yeah. You're going to get that scriptures and they're going to be like bullets in a machine gun. You're going to like study, memorize those scriptures so that you can say them. And you're going to do it through prayer, through preaching. And, you know, uh, I used to, when I was young, I would just stand in a field and I would just preach to the trees and the flowers and the grass. All right? and, and I feel that you're just going to get that boldness. Just like Peter had to jump up and preach to 3,000 people to get saved. That's what you're going to do. And so the Lord is increasing your ability to fight with the sword. God bless you. Amen. Kayla, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was how he was putting a blanket over your shoulders. And this was a heavier blanket than the previous one you had. But it looked heavy, but it was. It was so light. It was so light. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm just wrapping you in my love and my glory. And I'm giving you a song and a message of love. And then I just see how the Lord is giving you an anointing for a speed where you're going to be very sharp when you with your relationships with people. When you talk to people, God is going to give you wisdom through relationships. And also God is going to give you wisdom for how to, um, yeah, I just, I just feel that business as well. It's ministry and business and how to work with people. And I just feel the Lord is giving you so much wisdom of that. And then lastly, Kayla, uh, I just feel how God is really just giving you brand new songs. Um, I just see you writing songs. God loves you, Kayla. God bless you. Thank you, Kayla, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We love to hear from you. The next word is for uh, Karen. Karen. Karen, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture where you clean a part of your room and you say, this is my and the Lord's place where you're going to sit down and you're going to spend some time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I see because you've got a dedicated place, you have a dedicated uh, routine where you go and sit and listen. And I just see some mornings how the Lord is waiting there, excited to speak with you. And how I see how you really start to connect and have a relationship with the Lord. The Lord says, do not focus on all of the running around Rather focus on making that place and spending the time because then the rest uh, of the day you'll have a lot of wisdom and favor to re re sort out all of the other challenges. Be blessed. Miss Karen, the Lord shows me how how you are just getting rebaptized in with the Holy Spirit. The Lord shows me how the, how the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you just pray in tongues, and you sing songs, and you just and you just worship God. The, I, the Lord really shows me how He's taking you through all of the baptisms. How you are going to go in the baptism of the Father, and in the baptism of the Son, and in in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That He that you are recommitting your life down and and placing it at Jesus's feet saying here I am I am I am yours again I am yours today and I am yours tomorrow the Lord shows me just this this new commitment be blessed hey awesome uh, uh, Corin uh, God loves you very very much and uh, you've been faithful to seek him and he will answer you there's a scripture that says uh, ask and um, seek and what's the other one Knock. Knock. The door will be opened. You'll find. 
uh, the Lord will give you the answers and I just feel you have hunger in you and the Lord will satisfy that hunger that's on the inside of you. The Lord loves you very, very much. Karen, God bless you. All right, so next person I want to minister to is Elisma uh, van Roy. And so Elisma, the Lord shows me a platform from where you minister. And I believe the Lord wants to make the ministry in your life permanent. And so you're going to give the ministry a name. If you haven't given it a name yet, you're going to formalize a time where you're going to do it uh, and you're going to build momentum. And so I saw there was like probably five or six times where you build a little momentum here and then you go there and you build momentum there again and you go another place and you build momentum there and you leave that again and you do different things. But I felt that the Lord says, now I'm going to establish you. I'm going to plant you. Uh, like, you know, when you put concrete in the ground and you plant something and it can't move. So the Lord is going to plant you so that you will not move. And you'll be in that place, the platform where the Lord gives you. You're going to give it a proper name. You're going to give it a slogan. You're going to give it a logo. You're going to give it a platform. And you're going to start to minister. And the Lord is going to use you. And I see, and I, and I, I don't want to... Uh, uh, label it but I think it's a women's ministry uh, and you're going to really touch the lives of those women. God bless you Elisma. Amen. Um, and dear Elisma the picture God showed me for you is how the Lord has cupped his hands over your cheeks and the Lord says fix your eyes on me and I just feel how the Lord says I, I know you know this but I'm still telling you I love you. Um, Elisma, Auntie Elisma the picture God showed me for you was how the Lord was, um, how you had a flashlight and you had these batteries and, and then, and then obviously they're worn out and how the Lord is giving you these new batteries and I just feel the Lord says that I'm I'm going to recharge you I'm giving you a new I'm giving you um, new oil new life and I see how you get out of one car and you get into this this really cool red car and I just feel how the Lord says um, I'm I'm going to teach you how to drive and, and and I feel the Lord says don't doubt it keep on going and I just see how the Lord is like talking to you um, God loves you until this one God bless you Thank you, Lesma, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Brad. Brad, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see how you spend a lot of time with your sons and how you're going to mentor them and help them tremendously. But while you are helping them and mentoring them, the Lord is also going to help you. Meaning, the, the things that you're going to have to teach and train them is things that you don't even know yet. So the Lord says, I'm going to help you. I'm giving you the wisdom. But in the process of where you're going to share with them, you're also going to realize a lot. So don't just think uh, that everything you get is for the kids. It's for you as well. But I see how you have a very, very tight bond. And how the Lord says it's going to be even stronger. Be blessed. Amen. Uh, Mr. Brad, the Lord showed me how Moses was walked up the mountain and he was carrying these stones. And the Lord shows me how, how you are carrying these two camping chairs and how you are going up this mountain and you place one down for you and then one down for, 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 for Jesus or, and for the Holy Spirit and for God like that. that the second camping chair is representing a space for the Holy Spirit to, to start to speak to you. And the Lord shows me how, how when you come down, that you come down like Moses came down, he came down with those, with the commandments from the Lord. And the Lord shows me that he is going to bring you revelation. But when you are up on, on this mountain receiving, the Lord shows me how he is just bringing you peace. How, how you're not... How, how you're not like fixing your tie. The Lord shows me how you are coming into a deeper relationship with the Lord where, where you can come, become completely undone. How the Lord, because the Lord sees you in every season. He says you don't need to, you need to come with honor, but you don't need to put on a, a facade or a, a mask. He says, come to me as you are because I've created you to, to receive and, and to give. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Brad, um, you know, the, the warriors of old, um, they would wear uh, underneath the armor, they would wear a, a cloth, and there's a very, very strong cloth. Um, actually, if you try to stick a knife through it, uh, they just made it so strong that it's very difficult. You've got to have a lot of force. And then after that, they put the chain mail on, and then after that, the steel. And I just see how the Lord is putting that cloth and that chain mail on you so that you are protected. And if someone comes with a knife to, to cut you, you're not cut that easily. And I felt, especially in your work situation uh, and uh, wherever you go, 
that there was a lot of times where someone uh, speaks sharp words to you and it's like a knife that comes against you. Uh, but the Lord is putting that layer of protection, that maturity, that strength. So that when that words come, it kind of just falls off like water off a duck and it doesn't affect you. And, I've, and even the, it's like the knife come, but it can't penetrate. It kind of just uh, go off to the side. And I feel that is what God is doing in your life. And so He's strengthening you. So you will not be affected by what's on the outside, but that you'll know I'm a child of God. I'm loved by God. I'm valuable and I've got something to offer. That's what the Lord is also saying about you. So uh, Brad, God bless you. Uh, so I want to minister to uh, Gilliam. Okay, so Gilliam, what the Lord is showing to me is how He takes you and he puts you in a greenhouse and in this greenhouse there's a lot of uh, heat uh, and there's also the environment for you to grow and to to flourish and bear a lot of fruit uh, but it's also uncomfortable uh, because you're cramped uh, you can't get your branches too big because the greenhouse is only a certain size there's also heat the whole time and the, there's uh, high humidity so there's pressure on you the whole time it's never let up and i felt the lord says you're going to be in this greenhouse um um let me not get the time wrong, but I would say three to seven years, maybe let's say five years, but it's going to be a substantial amount of time. It's not just going to be six months or a year. It's going to be closer to maybe five years that you're going to be in this greenhouse. But in that time, you're going to massively grow. You're going to develop your gifting, you're going to grow your character. And then the Lord is going to plant you as a leader and you're going to build something amazing for the Lord. And so I feel you are in the the, the training school of God in your life. God bless you. Yeah, um, Kelly, um, the picture God showed me for you were these golden scrolls that God has given you, um, promises that you've had, the the, the, the generational anointings that you got um, ever since, even when you were like little, things that the Lord has spoken to you about. And I just feel the Lord says, those promises are still for you. Um, I'm making a plan, I'm making a way. And I just see how God is really chaining you up and really bringing the right people, right resources for this call that you have and then I also see a picture of you know the promises God gave uh, uh, okay I'm just seeing promises you know the promises God gave to Abraham about the stars and I just feel how the Lord says look at the sky look at the scars come into come into um, go outside and take a deep breath because I am breathing my life into you and you're going to speak so much life for the next generation God loves you God bless you Gideon thank you Gilliam, for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for Lindy Lindy, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a puzzle and how Paris and where you are at now, even the prophetic ministry, all of those things are pieces of the puzzle and how you start to see how the picture starts to grow. And I just see how you see the corner of what's going on. There's a lot on your plate that the Lord is putting for your family where you're going to um, you're going to minister a lot, but I see that deep connection where you're still rooted from where you came. And I see how the Lord gives you favor with a lot of people that can speak into your life. And because you allow them to speak into your life, you will not go astray, but always you will allow that words to help guide you and to complete the picture. But the Lord says, enjoy the journey. It's going to be a very, very good one. Be blessed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Ms. Lindy, the Lord shows me how how the how He's peeling back the layers, how He's peeling back the layers of you and um, of you with God in the secret place, but He's also peeling back the layers for you in public. The Lord shows me that no matter what position of authority that I have have placed you in on earth, the Lord shows me how He says, "Come to me as a child when you worship, when you give, when you give a word. Come to me." As, as a child full of love and full of zealousness for the Lord do not hold back to to try and be proper or try and be good in the eyes of man because no one is good only God is good and the Lord says shine that light shine his light wherever you are you you don't have to to put on a, a brave face for others you have to be a humble servant before God be blessed. Hey, Lenny so three words strong encourager courageous that's the three words and the strength of god is really the joy that's in you uh, the ability to endure uh, and then of course uh, that encourager uh, i really believe that you're going to encourage a lot of people uh, not only uh, with a word that sounds nice uh, but also with the word of god that flows out of your mouth 
God bless you, Lindy and family. Thank you for each one of you. I love and appreciate all of you. God bless.